Uh, hello, my friends. Nice to see you again. We have new lesson about tablecloth shantaya, and now I will check the sound because this is the most important. So take your tablecloth. I have in this moment like this six rows. Take your work, take your a crochet hook and a yarn, and we will continue together to make this beautiful tablecloth. So it will be really great. Today we have lesson number three. If you just didn't see previous lessons number one and number two, everything you have in at our YouTube channel, JT House YouTube channel, just visit our channel and watch all these lessons. We have record. And uh, we are making such tablecloth, Shantaya. On this photo you can see uh, my favorite, yes, uh, variant. It's like by using very thin Italian viscose. And in this case I have chance to change colors and receive such magical result with transition of colors. Uh, this It's not so, so difficult to make it, just you need to have this few colors and you can you need to use a very thin thread. In this way you can create very interesting lace with such yes transition of colors. A few photos about Shantaya we have. Also I made the same from also Italian viscose but only one color. It's Italian viscose, also the same thin thread. It's white color, very soft and beautiful thread. Uh, yes from Yolanda, yes. Thanks about about where to find this all yes schemes because after this lesson i will add next scheme to our free crochet patterns group so let's see to this group few seconds and you will find out a lot of information i will show you now okay free crochet patterns group uh, you need to find this free crochet patterns by jetty house crochet school join to our group and here we have a lot of interesting projects so you can you need to press photos after choose albums in this moment you start to see our elements projects laces but don't uh, think it's all you have two buttons here press to this button and you will start to see new one again new one and next one and also more and more just uh, patterns um, this all albums the each album is about one project so open the album download the scheme from this album and uh, you can work with this scheme but it's not all you can also find the same element at our youtube channel and you can open this video and work with this video so we have pattern and also you have a record of a workshop and so you have everything to make such beautiful projects and also I have more information just to show you everything at the top of this page we have I made this video instruction about how to use free crochet patterns from our group and also records of uh, on our youtube channel so when you will join to our group just watch this video instruction and you will get so many beautiful patterns from our group uh, just incredible yes because we made workshops during few years and now we have fantastic projects and uh, this all projects you can take for free and just learn step by step how to make very difficult and very beautiful elements laces and projects so join to our free crochet patterns group and take all this information. That's all for this moment and again PDF file. So here we have uh, just uh, one more information because this is my favorite thread uh, that's why I am talking about this thread and I need to tell this information because I am using uh, such threads, Italian viscose uh, I think uh, around 16 years for my uh, projects, for my collections of dresses. So this is the most high quality thread in my life and I love it. That's why I created a such yarn store where you, where you can find this thread. Uh, so next step. Uh, we will make uh, now next rows and I will use for this difficult uh, stitches just very long stitches very interesting combination of stitches and we are using i'm using a still small hook in size 1.75 millimeters also can be two millimeters for this thread that i'm using and uh, we are making such tablecloth so let's continue to work at the previous two lessons we created this uh, this part in total we have here six rows and uh, now uh, in previous two lessons we used such scheme this one today we will make next two rows and uh, we will use this scheme to make this next two rows 
So now I will show you my hands and we will start to work. Just I will read some comments from you. Beautiful project. I would love to make this. Thank you so much, Diana. I hope you will uh, watch previous two lessons. Uh, we'll learn it how to make all these long stitches. It's really not easy, but if you will try just a few times to make these few stitches step by step, you will understand everything because I made mistakes during these two lessons because even for me it was not so easy to make, but uh, the result is really beautiful. So today we will have lesson number three and we will start now. I will show you my hands. This is my yes tablecloth, Shantai. We have transition of colors made from Italian viscos. And we have different beautiful colors, really fantastic edging. Yes, I love it, looks really gorgeous. And from this beautiful thread, uh, very uh, soft and uh, just a uh, nice touching to the body. Yes, it's very nice thread. And I check the sound once again, so you, I hope you also hear me and see me. So such tablecloths we have, and also I will show you in white color, the second variant I made. It's not so shiny, yes, it's just a little bit different type of Italian viscose, but it's also high quality and very soft. And I like to use it for uh, such uh, projects like tablecloths, or maybe some summer tunics. And also some of my clients uh, just uh, order this thread for baby clothes, it's really nice. And it's very, very nice, beautiful, soft too. In, in this moment, I am working with Italian viscos, is a pure lux. I took such gold thread, and um, we have here six rows. I already finished them, and now we will start row number seven. Okay, I will take the scheme just to see step by step what I need to do. We have some difficult parts when we will make transition from one row to another. I just try a few times and I will show you today what I mean about this. We need to, from this point where we finish it, uh, we, we just made the stitches at the middle, yes, between these two picots and we have such part. Uh, we need to move back a little bit and I think we joined to this picot. I did like this. Okay, one second. Yes, and from here I started to make next row. So I cannot start from this middle point. That's why I will make few slip stitches and join to this picot to the middle. And from here I will make first arch. So I need to turn the work and move back a little bit. Just I will make few slip stitches. Insert hook. It's not good see, to see, okay. Insert hook uh, to the next stitch, make yarn over and make a slip stitch. Just very accurate, not too tight. Again, insert to the next stitch, yarn over and make a slip stitch. And once again, make a slip stitch. Okay, now uh, we need to, to make to the middle of this picot again slip stitch. And we can do like this to the top, just to fix the thread. From this point I will start. Now turn back your work and now we can make... <laughs> oh, I have to make it gold. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. I love your variant. So you made all the time very beautiful tablecloths. This one red, red color was really something special and this purple is really fantastic. <laughs> Each color you use is very beautiful. So now let's see, we, each time we need to make six chain loops, I think, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make this all chains with, yes, uh, with middle tension of thread, not too loose, not too tight. And after join to the middle of picot, insert and make a loop and next single crochet. Okay, it should be not too tight, you, you know, <laughs> it should be at the same size like this one row. In this way, everything will be great. And next again, I think six. I don't. I will just sit and look at my graphic. One, two, three times. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six chain loops and make again single crochet to the middle of picot. And now I will check how many I need to make like this. One, two, three. Okay, three times like this. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. Again, join to the middle of this picot, yarn over, make loop, and finish to make single crochet like this. 
So, I have three arches just from 16 loops and single crochet. Now, almost the same, just after 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, I need to make double crochet to the middle of picot. So now, one time yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot and make a double crochet, like this. Now again, 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This time we need to make treble crochet, two times yarn over, insert hook to the middle of picot and make treble crochet. Just standard treble crochet. Okay, after this, 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this moment you need to check everything is okay or not, because this time we will uh, insert hook to this middle point. To the middle of this corner how you can check this all yes we have seven parts like this one two three four five six seven so fours will be the middle i will insert hook to the fourth part like this here is the middle of the corner so after 16 loops we need to make one two three four five five or six times here and over i will check now Six time yarn over. Okay, five, six. Next, make very close to the top of the hook all these loops. And next, insert hook to the middle. Like I told you, between picots we have middle point to this one, below two threads. Yarn over and start to just make all the time the same. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Yarn over and draw through two loops. And third time, after third time, you need to stop. I think. <laughs> or not, not. This time not. We, we will make second part at the top, not at the bottom. So just continue to make the same till you finish this long stitch. Like this. With six times yarn over. Next, 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to make to the middle of this long stitch double treble crochet. So one, two, three times yarn over. Next, we need to insert hook yes to the middle. So, skip first part where we made yes this, where we draw thread through two loops. So, first, second, third to the third one. I think it's okay to insert this hook and make double treble crochet. And we need to have like the same size of these two parts. Yes, it's okay for me. It's okay. So this is not so easy to do, just make it slowly and try to make it right. So next we have 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 16 loops. So after 16 loops we have a treble crochet again to the middle of the next picot. So two times yarn over, insert to the middle of picot and make treble crochet. Okay, uh, next, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now symmetrically, this time we will make double crochet to the middle of picot. Okay, double crochet. After uh, we start to make just single crochet, so 16 loops and single crochet to the middle of picot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. 16 loops to the middle of picot again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and again single crochet to the middle of picot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and single crochet to the middle of picot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6 uh, So, I will explain where you need to stop Yes, to make single crochet and start to make double crochet. So after you will cross this first part, so you will cross this part, you will make the last, I think, single crochet, yes, yes. The last single crochet, after you will have double crochet and next treble crochet. So first, this part you need to skip, one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip and make the last single crochet at this line, at this side. Next we will have double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six chin loops and double crochet to the next picot. Make a double crochet like this 
and after six chain loops and treble crochets three four five six two times yarn over and make treble crochet to the middle of picot okay so now again check your this yes middle point at your corner uh, in my case everything is okay so i didn't make mistake for this so far yes like it previous lesson i made a lot of so now we have one two three four five six chain loops and uh, make six times yarn over four five six make all these loops very close to the top of the hook insert hook to the middle point below two threads like this below two threads and make this long stitch very accurate not to lose all the time make yarn over and draw thread through two loops on your hook like this i will make it slowly and the last time and we have this long stitch after 16 loops one two three four five six and now this difficult moment make three times yarn over this will be double treble crochet to the middle of this stitch skip first part where we draw thread through two loops skip second part insert hook to the third part in the middle of the stitch below two threads yarn over and just make double treble crochet slowly accurate not too tight not too loosely we have nice result so everything is okay we can continue to make 16 loops one two three four four five six uh, now treble crochet to the middle of next picot like this Six chain loops and double crochet to the middle of picot. After we start to make again six chain loops and single crochet. Three, four, five, six, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet. Again, sixteen loops, single crochet, and once again, sixteen loops and single crochet. We will just cross this first part, and next we will change a little bit scheme. Four, five, six. Make single crochet. After this, uh, just make six chain loops and double crochet. Three, four, five, six. One time yarn over and make a double crochet. Again, six chain loops. Three, four, five, six, and make treble crochet. Now again, this will be the middle point. I have everything is okay here. We have this middle part. Check twice everything, and now make six chain loops. Three, four. Five, six. Make six times yarn over. Three, four, five, six. Make all these loops close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle point below two threads and start to make this really long stitch. Make it accurate. Each time make yarn over and draw threads through two loops on your hook. And like this, step by step, you will make beautiful long stitch. Okay, I have it. So now. 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3 times yarn over, and now once again find the right point. So skip first area, second, and to the third, insert hook below two threads, and make double treble crochet. 1, 2, 3. Okay, we have this nice corner. After 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, now make treble crochet to the middle of picot. After again 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, make a double crochet this time, and again start to make 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, and single crochet to the middle of picot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and single crochet to the middle of picot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and single crochet to the middle of picot. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, and single crochet to the middle of picot. And like this, continue to work. Four, five, six chain loops, and single crochet. And one, once again, if we need to cross this first part, so six chain loops, four, five, six, and single crochet to the middle of picot. Uh, next, make six chain loops and double crochet. Double crochet to the middle of picot. After six chain loops, three, four, five, six, and treble crochet. Now we should have middle point and we have it. So to the middle we will make this beautiful corner start from six chain loops, three, four, five, six, six times yarn over, four, five, six, make them close to the top of the hook and start to make this long stitch. So we have the stitch, next six chain loops, three times yarn over and now skip first part, second and insert hook to the third part of our long stitch and make double treble crochet. After six chain loops, three, four, five, six. Uh, next, make treble crochet to the middle of picot. After make six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make double crochet. Sorry, double crochet. After six chain loops, three, four, five, six, and make a single crochet next. One, two, three, four, five, six, and make single crochet. Okay, I finish it almost finish it this row. So now I need to make the last arch, and I will check what I need to do. Let me see. When I will make. Uh -huh, okay, I understand. Because in this moment we will make some difficult part how to make transition to the next row. So in this moment I need to finish. Uh -huh, okay, I make I can make half of this arch. Even better that I made it before. I will try. So I will make three chain loops half of this arch, and I think double or treble crochet. I will try first double crochet to make. No, it's better to make for me treble crochet. Just I will stop at the middle of this arch. Okay. So I finish it now at the middle of this arch. And from this point I can make, let me see, one chain loop to move up and two single crochet. Okay. One chain loop to move up and we will start row number eight. Now around this double crochet I will make three single crochet. So insert hook around, make a loop and make first single crochet again. Insert hook below, make a loop and make single crochet. So we had two. Okay, this will be our beginning, I think. We should have three here. It will be like, yes, like three stitches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next, go to the next arch and make this will be like middle arch because we have here this part, this is the middle, yes, at this line. So here we will have three single crochet around the arch. Next, pick off from five chain loops. So one, two, three, four, five chain loops. Insert hook below these two threads that we have at the front side. How to, how to show you better? make yarn over and draw threads through everything. Next, three single crochet around the same arch. So in total we have here six single crochet and between them picot at the middle po point. Okay, after this, around next arch make three single crochet. One, two and three stitches. And in this moment we will make a really long arch. At the graphic we have 24 chain loops, but I try to make it and now I know, so it's better to make 20. So now I will make 20 chain loops. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
turn your work, turn your work to this side. Next, skip this middle po po point, just uh, this middle part with pico. Go to this arch where we start. Yes, we start here, and we need to join to the second stitch. So we have like three stitches around the first arch. Skip first stitch, go to the second one, insert hook and make a slip stitch. Make a slip stitch. Go to the f this one, to the third, to the beginning and insert hook to this beginning. To this one chain loop that we made in the, f in the beginning of this row. Make yarn over and make a slip stitch also. Now turn your work like this to the, to the right direction. Take this long arch we have now and around this arch we will work now. First we need to make 6 single crochet around, so go below this arch, make first, sorry I will make it smaller, go around and make first, it's just a too, too big beginning, with this first loop. Insert hook below the arch, make yarn over, make a loop and make first single crochet, after repeat 5 times more. And you will have 6 single crochet around this long chain. So now I have 6 stitches. After make picot from 5 chain loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make picot, standard picot, just after again start to make 6 single crochet around this arch. Insert hook below the arch, make loop and next finish to make single crochet and again the same. You should make 6 stitches like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the last one. 6 stitches we have, next again picot from 5 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, finish to make picot and again 6 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 stitches. After 6 uh, picot from 5 chain loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, finish to make picot and make the last six single crochet around this big arch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, after this, after this, you should make uh, around this arch three stitches single crochet and this will be like second half of stitches that we need to have around each arch. So in total we have here six single crochet and also we made this long arch. Okay, so I made three single crochet around the same arch. Next go to this arch, the next one, and make around three single crochet, picot and three single crochet. So let's start first single crochet, second, third, after picot from 5 chain loops, finish to make picot and make 3 single crochet, 1, 2 and 3. Ok, so I finished to make this part, go to the next arch, here we need to make the same I think, yes, 1, 2, 3, 3 times like this we need to make, so next 2 arches repeat the same, 3 single crochet, picot and 3 single crochet. So I have 3 stitches, next picot from 5 chain loops, ok, and the, uh, once again I will repeat the same, 3 single crochet around the arch, next picot from 5 chain loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, finish to make picot after 3 single crochet, 1, 2 and 3 stitches. Okay, next we have like our corner, yes, yeah, that we made in previous row, interesting design. So what we need to do here, I will just check. Uh -huh. Around the next arch, we just need to make six single crochet without picot. So let's make the six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one. Uh, next we have corner, yes, yeah, this arch at the corner. So here we need to make uh, 3 single crochet picot and 3 single crochet round standard scheme for this moment. So 3 single crochet picot from 3, 4, 5 chain loops, 
finish to make pico and after three single crochet again thank you for your likes i see you put me like <laughs> thank you so much i am very happy that you like this video thank you for support uh, so we finished to make this middle point part yes now very important we will start to make the same uh, big um, big chain yes so how to do this around the next arch you make only three single crochet one two and three stitches yes we have half uh, next after uh, start to make again 20 chain loops i think yes 20 So I have 20, turn your work and now we will skip this middle part and go to this 6 stitches without picot. Here we have 6 stitches, yes? Starting from this side, go to this one, we have 1st, 2nd, 3rd, so we need to take 2nd one, insert hook and make a slip stitch, 1st one. To the 3rd stitch, insert hook and make a slip stitch 2nd time, yes? That's all, we join it, now turn your work, turn your work, and now we will work around this big chain. And this time we will have more stitches and more picots. Start from six single crochet around. Three, four, five, six stitches, now picot from five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Finish to make picot. And now make again six stitches. It's easy to remember all the time six stitches and pick on three, four, five, and six stitches. We have now pick from uh, five chain loops and next make six single crochet again. Three, four, five, and six. Again pick from uh, five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Finish to make picot. Uh, next, six stitches. Three, four, five, six. Now, now I will check how many picots we should have. So at the corner we should have uh, four picots. So I will just uh, move all the stitches by my fingers on this chain. And in this case. Uh, we have three now, I will make the last picot and the last six stitches and you will have the right number of picots at this corner, yes? At the corner we have bigger arch. So, I will make now picot from five chain loops, three, four, five, and um, finish to make picot. And now the last six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's check once again what you should have. We have few parts with six uh, stitches. So let's see one, two, three, four, five. Five parts with six single crochet. And between them four picots uh, from five chain loops. That's all at the corner. Now when you finish this part, to, uh, uh, go again to the same arch where we started, yes, we have three single crochet, so we need to make second half, so again three single crochet around the same arch. In this way we finish it to work at this arch. Now we can go to this one, the next one, and here we will make three times the same, yes, even more. Let's see step by step. So around the next arch we will make three single crochet, Next picot from 5 chain loops and finish to make picot and make 3 single crochet. Now I will check how many parts like this we should make before we will start to make again this long arch. So let me see. We should make 3 times I think like this. Yes. After without picot we will have 6 stitches and next will be the middle one. So let's check. So I have first one, second with pico, third with pico, without pico, yes, and we have middle part, so everything is okay. We should repeat two times the same. Around the next arch I will make again three stitches, three single crochet, pico and three single crochet. So pico from 
5 chain loops and now again 3 single crochet around 1, 2 and 3 stitches so we have 2 parts like this, the last one make 3 single crochet 1, 2, 3 and now picot from 5 chain loops 3, 4, 5 make picot and after 3 single crochet 1, 2, 3 so we have three parts like this. Now around the next arch just make six single crochet without picot. Two, three, four, five and six stitches. So we have six single crochet. Now we have the middle arch. All the time check your pattern, check everything is okay or not. Because you can make mistake and this will be really big trouble <laughs> when you will continue to work. So now we have the middle one. Around the middle arch make again 3 single crochet, pick off from 5 chain loops and again 3 single crochet. This will be middle part. So 3 single crochet, 1, 2, 3. And now we will start to make just half of this yes, stitches. So we will make only 3 single crochet and start to make 20 chain loops. So let's make 20, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20. So we have 20 chain loops, turn your work and now we skip this part with picot, we skip this part, go to the next arch without picot. Here we have 6 stitches. Starting from this side, count 1, 2, 3, yes. To the second stitch, insert hook below 2 threads, yarn over and make a slip stitch. Again, go to the third stitch, yarn over and make a slip stitch. Okay, we have this beginning. Now turn your work and now we will work around this big chain, around this long chain. So first you need to make 6 single crochet just around first stitch, second stitch, third stitch, fourth, fives, and the last one, 6 stitches, single crochet. After picot from 5 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, finish to make picot, again make 6 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 stitches. Now make picot from 5 chain loops, 3, 4, 5, finish to make picot. After 6 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stitches, again picot from 5 chain loops and uh, I will check once again, yes, we should have 3 picots, we already made 3 picots and the last part from 6 single crochet and this will be all for this part, 3, 4, 5, 6 stitches, ok, so you should have like this, let's see closer, uh, we have uh, 3 picots and also we have 4 parts with 6 stitches, yes, and that's all for this part. Uh, next, continue to work around the same arch. We have here three stitches, you need to make three more. One, two, three single crochet around this arch. Okay. Uh, next, around the next arch, we will make three single crochet picot and three single crochet. And this scheme we will repeat three times. Okay, so let's make it. Three single crochet and picot. From five chain loops. And again, three single crochet. After, repeat the same, uh, three single crochet, picot and three single crochet. One, two, three. And once again, make three single crochet, picot from five chain loops and three single crochet after this uh, we have only six stitches without picot around the next arch just six single crochet one two three four five and six stitches okay 
Now we have this corner. So around the corner we have three single crochet, pico in the middle from five chain loops and again three single crochet. So now three stitches, one, two and three stitches we have. After this we will work around the next arch, but first we need to make only half, three single crochet round. From this point we start to make this long chain of 20 chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 20 chain loops. Turn your work, skip this area with Pico this one, go to this arch where we have only six stitches without pico and from this side count one, two, three. You should find uh, just second stitch, insert hook, make slip stitch, next to the third, pico, uh, third stitch insert hook and make slip stitch, turn your work and start to work around this chain. Make six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six stitches, next arch, or arch, pico from five chain loops, after six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, again pico from five chain loops, once again when you are working at the corner around such big chain we should have here four picots and five parts with six stitches so just count carefully everything so now again six chain loops six uh, single crochet three four five and six stitches now i will make third pico three four five Again, I will make part from six stitches, single crochet around the chain. Three, four, five, six. Uh, next, make a pico. One, two, three, four, five. Make pico. And after, again, the last part, part number five from six stitches. Two, three, four. Five. So once again, you should have four picots, four picots, and five parts with six stitches. Yes, and after join around the same arch where we started and make around this arch three single crochet, second half, yes, of stitches around. Okay, so we have it. This result. Uh, next, go to the next arch and make around. Three single crochet and pico from five chain loops. One, two, three, and pico. Three, four, five. Make pico, and after three single crochet, one, two, three stitches. Uh, two times, repeat the same around the next two arches. So three single crochet, pico, and three single crochet. Three, four, five make pico and make three single crochet one two three so i have two parts like this repeat uh, repeat once again the same so three stitches pico and three stitches one two three four five okay and three stitches one two three okay uh, now we have arch this one below yes uh, just very close to the middle arch this one this is the middle one and now we will work with this around the next arch you need to make only six stitches without pico so just six single crochet four five six stitches like this next we have middle part so around middle one arch make three single crochet pico from five chain loops And three single crochet. One, two, three. This is the middle arch. And now start to make only three stitches around next arch. So from this point start to make a long chain, 20 chain loops. So 
so we have 20 chain loops, turn your work, skip this part, go to this arch where we didn't make picot and count stitches. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stitches. So go to the second stitch, 1, 2, to the second, insert hook below 2 threads and make slip stitch. Again, insert hook but this time to the third stitch, yarn over and make a slip stitch. Slip stitch. Turn your work and work around this long chain. Make six stitches, single crochet around the chain. So we have three stitches, four, five, six. After picot from fashion loops, and again make one, two, three, four, five. Six stitches. Again, make picot from five chain loops, and after uh, six stitches. Now again, picot one, two, three, four, five from five chain loops. Finish to make picot, and next make six single crochet. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. So when you are working in the middle, not at the corner, uh, you should have three picots and four parts with uh, six stitches. So everything is okay here. We can continue to work around this arch. I need to make three stitches more. So one, two, three. If you like this video and this workshop with this table clothes, press like below this video. I will be very happy to see your likes. <laughs> Please support our YouTube channel and just press like. Yes. After this, uh, I will make three times uh, three single crochet pico and three single crochet around the next three arches. So now pico. After again three single crochet one, two, three. After this, again, three single crochet and picot from five chain loops. And again, three single crochet around the arch. And the last time around the next arch, make the same. Three single crochet, picot, and three single crochet. Thank you for your likes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. It's really huge support for our channel, for our videos. Thank you so much. So now I am very close to this corner. So around the next arch, we should make only six single crochet and without pico. So just six single crochet. So we have six single crochet. Uh, next, around this middle arch, uh, make three single crochet and uh, picot from five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Make picot, and after again three single crochet. One, two, three. Uh, next, uh, make only three single crochet around the next arch, and start to make big chain. So we have. Three single crochet now 20 chain loops. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, turn your work, skip this part with picot, go to this part where we didn't make picot, and uh, you need to count stitches 1, 2, to the second one, insert hook, make a slip stitch. To the third stitch, insert hook and make a slip stitch also. Next, turn your work and start to work with this long chain. Make around six single crochet. After picot from five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. 
six stitches. Uh, next picot one, two, three, four, five. After again six single crochet on this long chain. Okay, next picot one, two, three, four, five from five chain loops. And uh, we should have four picots and five parts with six stitches. So now in this moment I have only three picots. So I will continue to work again six single crochet and after one more picot. Four stitches, five and six stitches. Next one, two, three, four, five, pic five chain loops. Finish to make picot. And in this moment I have four picots. So the last part I will make with six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I finished to make this all stitches and picots. Just you can mo move all the stitches by your fingers and just make it more, yes, accurate and beautiful. After continue to work around the same chain, make th three stitches, one, two, three. After make three stitches, picot and three stitches. Five chain loops, finish to make the picot and make three single crochet. Now again three single crochet, make picot from five chain loops and again three single crochet. So, and we have two parts like this. Once again, make three single crochet and pick off from five chain loops. And again, three single crochet. And uh, now again, we will work very close. Yeah, this is a middle arch. So here, around the next arch, you make only six single crochet without pick on. Three, four, five, six stitches around the middle arch make three single crochet pick off from five chain loops and three single crochet around the next arch make only three single crochet one two Three. And now start to make big arch from 20 chain loops. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 20. Turn your work, skip this part with picot, go to this arch where we have 6 stitches and count stitches 1, 2 to the second stitch, insert hook below 2 threads, yarn over and make a slip stitch. Insert hook to the next stitch, below two threads, yarn over and make a slip stitch. Turn your work and work with this long chain. Make six single crochet round. Now pick off from five chain loops. Six stitches and picot again. Finish to make picot. Again, make six single crochet around this long chain. So we have three stitches, four, five, and six. Next, make picot from five chain loops. Finish to make picot. And after, make six stitches again. Uh, when you're working uh, not at the corner, you're working at the side of this square shape, yes, table close. Here you should have three picots and four parts with six stitches. So now I'm making the last part with six single crochets. Three, four, five, and six. So I finished to make this part. And after, uh, start, continue to work around this arch, make three single crochet, the second part of stitches. Okay, and around the next arch make three stitches, single crochet, pick off from five chain loops, and three stitches. 
If you enjoy this video, if you like this tablecloth, this pattern, please uh, press like below this video. Uh, this will really help help to our channel. Yes, this will be really huge support for our channel. So just press like below this video if you like it. So we have picot from five chain loops. Again, three single crochet. So we have two parts like this. Once again, I will make three single crochet and picot from five chain loops. And again, three single crochet. And now we almost, yes, we are working at the corner. Around the next arch, make only six single crochet without picot. Four, five, six. After around the next arch, make three single crochet. One, two, three stitches. After picot from five chain loops, and again three single crochet around the same arch. One, two, three. So we made this middle part at the corner, and now work with the next arch. Make only three stitches, three single crochet around. One. Sorry, one, two, and three. After start to make 20 chain loops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Turn your work, skip part with picot, go to this one where we didn't make picot, uh, take second stitch, one, two, insert hook below two threads, yarn over, and make a slip stitch. Insert hook to the next po uh, stitch, make a slip stitch also. Turn your work and work around this long chain, make six single crochet and after picot from five chain loops. Again, make six single crochet and make picot from five chain loops. Now again, one, two, three, four, five, six single crochet and picot from five chain loops. At the corner, you should have four picots and five parts with six stitches. I have only three picots, so I will continue to make one more part, so six single crochet and one picot. Three, four, five, six single crochet. Now picot from five chain loops. Three, four, five. Finish to make picot. And now move by your fingers this all stitches, yes. And I will make the last part from six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five six stitches we have. Next, uh, continue to work around this arch where we started and we have three stitches, now make three stitches more. Around one, two, three. So I finished to work with this arch. Go to the next one and make three single crochet, picot and three single crochet. One, two, three stitches. And repeat two times the same. So we will make uh, three stitches now again. Pick off from five chain loops. One, two, three, four, five. Finish to make picot and after make three stitches around the same arch. One, two, three. So we have two parts like this. Uh, again, make uh, around the next arch three single crochet, picot from five chain loops, three, four, five, finish to make picot, and after again three single crochet round, one, two, and three stitches. And now we have the last arch, and everything is understandable. We have half of stitches, so we have three stitches. So only three stitches make a round and finish by slip stitch. One, two stitches, third stitch, and now join to the beginning 
where we have this one chain loop, insert hook here and make a slip stitch like this. And fix everything by pin because at this point we will finish to make this lesson, this row. We made very beautiful part with long stitches, with nice corners, with long arches, yes. This will be base for our next incredible part. And you need to iron everything, yes. In this case you will have everything very straight, beautiful. And next time, at the next lesson, you will easily to make next stitches. I hope you understand everything, how to make all these stitches and you made yes this row together with me. Our next lesson number four we will have very soon, so don't worry, just make this part very nice and iron by using steam, steam iron this part and be ready for the next lesson. This lesson will be very soon. I will just uh, place announcement about this so you will not miss it, don't worry. And now I will just turn my camera and few seconds we will finish this lesson. So I hope you enjoy to make this uh, part of this table close. And uh, very soon, yes, we will make next part. This part will be really interesting. We will have uh, again this uh, yes, combination of stitches. And step by step we will go to the last rows. Yes, so just uh, continue to make it and you will see incredible result. This will be our project in the end, and uh, uh, just uh, continue to work. I think in total we will have uh, four, four rows more. Next time we will make next row. It will be long because we have difficult stitches, combination of stitches. I think we will make only one row during this lesson. And uh, don't miss a scheme, I will add the scheme to the free crochet patterns group. So you will have the scheme and you will have chance to work with it. If you need to repeat something, just uh, we'll, you will have record of this workshop on YouTube channel. Just please watch this record if you need. If you need it, if you don't need it, just use skin and that's all. I will read a comment that is wonderful. Oh, ho, nice. <laughs> oh, ho, looks nice. Thank you, Yolanda. Lynn, that is wonderful. Thank you, Julia, for the class. Thank you so much for comments, for watching. Thank you, Julia, from Yolanda, for the workshop. Thank you so much uh, to all my friends, to all your likes. I am very happy that you support this workshop, this uh, YouTube channel. It uh, was really nice to talk with you, to see you. I will wait for your incredible results and see you very soon. Yes, uh, at, uh, our, at our workshops, we will work together and make this beauty uh, together. Thank you so much and see you, see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.